I'm back out here for the 2024 start of my season. <laughs> it's a little chilly today. It's about 44 degrees, so we're gonna have to kind of battle through it a little bit. It's raining on and off, and even had some snow. But ice just came off the lake about two days ago, so hopefully they're putting the feed big on and. They feel that release of winter and all that pressure on them from the ice and they're ready to chow. So hopefully we can catch a few ones and hopefully they're big ones a day. So first cast 2024. There's a fish, first one of the day. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Looks like it's just an eater. Oh, well, I was not ready for that one. <laughs> nice eater. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's the start to the 2024 open water season, and it's a walleye. Probably a nice 17 incher that one back. I don't know if we'll keep any, but bad luck to keep the first fish of the year. Good start. fish right up on the shore too this might be a little nicer one than the last one yeah it's gonna be a nicer fish i think oh yeah it's a lot heavier <laughs> please be a big walleye don't be northern yeah that's a, probably a mid-20 fish Oh yeah, nice one. There we go. Yeah, probably not as big as I thought, but still a good eater. <clears throat> he might be in 19. 
hammer it though. Hopefully we can get these big girls to start biting. Definitely a male. <laughs> yeah, 18 and a half. I think I might keep this one and see if the live well works. This has been a few months since I last used it. And I know it's a male, so don't feel bad using that one for the frying pan. And I think it works. Well, since I had that bite here, I think I'm gonna, I'll just spot lock here for a little bit and just kind of keep working the shoreline and seems like they're pretty shallow. All my hits that I've had have been about maybe 10 yards offshore. So they're, they're tucked in there tight. I'm sure trying to get in warm water. I noticed in this little bay here, it's about a degree and a half warmer than the main lake. So I'm sure they're just looking for warm water, looking to do their thing and off the closest piece of structure. So seems to be working. Had two now and missed a decent one. And then I had a, like a 25 follow me to the boat. Hopefully I can develop a pattern. It seems like they're they're chowing it pretty decent, so that's a, at least a good sign. Just miss one just right off this point here. So hopefully we can get it to bite again. I don't think I got a good hook set into it. <clears throat> Like another walleye right off that point where I just missed that one. My hook sets are a little rusty. They keep getting me caught off surprise. There we go. That's another about 18 incher. Jeez, they just inhale it too. There we go. Number three on the day. I'm guessing that's another feet or another male. Yep, yeah, that's choked. <laughs> oh, number two. Usually this time of year, you just feel the weight and you set the hook, but they're actually, I'm feeling a tick there. They're just absolutely chowing. A lot of times, if you can get out right after the ice comes out, they are hungry, so. I timed it right, like I said, the ice just came out on this lake two days ago and they are putting the feed bag on. They are just absolutely destroying this uh, jig right now. So now that I know that they're biting, I might just switch up and use some other stuff and see if that works. But I think for the meantime, I'll keep using this until the fish tell me otherwise. But so all I'm using right now is this hydro jig from Maynard's Tackle. Um, I really love it for plastics. And it even works well in rivers too because it's got like a streamlined head But the, the thing that I like the most is this bait keeper when you put a plastic on it holds it right in place and doesn't slide so Like I've if you've seen any of my videos before I've been using a lot of these jigs and the paint's unbelievable on them It's insane the hooks are stout and it's just an overall good jig and then right now I'm using just a moxie um, beef fish and tackle plastic and uh, the bigger one, I think it's a four inch, and they are <laughs> destroying it. There's a fish. Jeez. Oh, it's a slimer. Oh, dang it. 
T-boned it though. <laughs> Shake it off. Oh, I don't like dealing meat with these with jerk baits. There we go. Didn't get hurt. <laughs> It's always a plus dealing with those things and jerk baits or crank baits. There we go. Be a walleye. I got in some real shallow water right now, and I think it's gonna be a walleye. It's acting like one. Oh, it's a big slimer again. God dang. I cannot get away from these things. It acted like a big walleye. Didn't go on any large runs like the other ones did. Please just don't break me off. Oh, please just do not break me off. I'm not gonna put much tension on it. This one's a thick one. So let you go. There we go. Oh. This one looks like it's still got eggs on it, so the must have not have spawned yet. I thought maybe they'd spawn with it being such a late ice. This one looks pretty thick. Big old chunk. Look at that. Not very long but she's chunky Air right at the boat. Ooh, it's a nice walleye. Heck yes. I hit right at the boat. <laughs> I wasn't even ready. It's been a while since I've caught a walleye. This one must have followed it from shore. Because it hit right literally at the boat. This is gonna be a probably a mid-20 fish. Well, that stunk. <laughs> Shoot. That was definitely going to be the biggest fish of the day. For sure mid-20s. Probably like a 24. Dang. Oh well. Well, it was great to get out in my boat again and start my 2024 open water fishing season. Uh, it was good to get knocked the rust off. My hook sets were a little rusty, so... Uh, there's a few I missed that I didn't include in the video, but I think I ended up with catching three, lost that one, 
And then I, I also had a decent follow of probably like a 26 inch here, but didn't bite. But yeah, surprisingly, the water was about 44 degrees, which I thought it'd be a lot cooler than that, just with ice coming off. They were surprisingly chowing for how crappy of a day it was. It was, like I said, rainy, snowy, and pretty cold. So I was, I was happy just to catch those few and get the season started. But this week, I'm going on a little surprise trip. I'm not going to tell the details yet, like I said. Uh, in my previous video but it's going to be a blast and hopefully you guys will see that this upcoming week but yeah like i said it was nice to get the boat out and uh, catch a few fish this year and start the season on a good note but again thank you for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one see ya bye